Today, talks around a proposal that would limit panhandling will be back in the spotlight, but this time this will be different. Yeah, changes have been made to that proposal that made such of the uproar a few weeks ago. 41 Action News anchor Richard Sharp live at City Hall this morning to explain what they're trying to tweak on this. Richard. Yeah, since last time, and, and it was a big meeting last time, Councilman Jolie Justice has said she wants to make changes. She's really looking to address some of the issues the original sponsors of the proposal have. It'll be back in the special committee meeting at 8.45, so in just a couple of hours here. Now, the proposal, if you don't already know, forbids anyone from standing on a street corner, exit ramp, or anything like that for more than the amount of time it takes to safely cross the street. Now, this makes it nearly impossible to stand on a corner and ask for money. Now, the proposal never mentions panhandling the way it's written, but some are concerned because panhandling is legal. This all came about because the city says they have received a huge number of complaints about panhandling last year, and they're on track to get even more this year. The penalty for violating the ordinance the way it's written now is a fine of up to $500 or six months in jail. And the way the ordinance is written now before these changes were made also would affect uh, many charities. For example, the firemen to fill the boot, they stand on the corner, or the high schoolers holding the signs for the car wash. It would affect those two. So we're waiting to see if those changes will address that and how it specifically deals with panhandling without actually saying panhandling. The, the committee takes it up at 845 this morning. If they pass it, and it could be an hours long discussion again, took three hours last time, well then it would go to the city council this afternoon and they'll give it the either final thumbs up or thumbs down. Live at City Hall, I'm Richard Sharp, 41 Action News.